Growing out my taper cut, I understand the feeling of wanting to wear the same hairstyles that other naturals with longer hair can wear sometimes. A style that I find myself wanting to wear often is a high puff. I love the sleek look that it has, but I often find myself frustrated not being able to recreate the style with my short sides. I found a way to wear the style without having to wait to get more length, and I hope that you guys can use this technique so you can have more versatility in what styles you wear while growing out your taper cut. Without much more to say, let's get right into it. So basically what you want to do is separate your hair into four sections and I use hair ties to do this. You don't really want to use rubber bands because that will pull on your hair. I also stretched my hair overnight so it wouldn't be as hard to recreate this style. Now I'm just going to spritz my hair with some water that I have in this bottle. It also has conditioner in it. If you're going to use conditioner, you can use whatever conditioner you like. I personally use Cantu leave-in conditioner with this water. I'm dampening my hair before I take the twists out because I find it easier to take them out if they're not dry. You don't have to do this. This is just my preference. In just a second, you're going to see me putting oil on my hair. You can use whatever oil you want. I put olive oil on there. I find that putting oil on helps reduce the crunchiness after the gel dries. I still find that my hair is some kind of crunchy afterwards. If you know any other type of way to get rid of this crunchiness completely, please tell me because I really do not like the crunchiness after it dries. I really don't want it. I detangle my hair with a Demon brush. You can use whatever you want, but I prefer to use a Demon brush. I feel like it works way better than me using a comb. Sometimes I'll use my fingers. Sometimes I'll use all three. It all depends on what I really feel like doing at the moment, but I usually use a Demon brush. My camera died, y'all. Uh, most of the part that I did, it was the back anyway. I, didn't really, I wasn't really going to show y'all that because y'all wouldn't be able to see it. But basically what I do is I separate it into smaller sections. Not small sections, but smaller sections. I spray it with water because you want it wet, like wet. Part of, parts of my hair were dripping wet. So you don't want to wear something that you don't want to get dirty if you're going to do this. Put gel on it. Use whatever gel you want. I use Eco Styler gel. That's just what I prefer to use. Also, for the band, all I did was put it on my head, double it around once, and then pushed it up until I got the bun to be where I wanted it to be, or the puff. I'm going to write that down in the description so you can read it, because I know the way that I described it just now might have been confusing. Then I take the Demon brush again and I start combing my hair from the ends to the roots after I put the gel in it. The Demon brush I find helps form my curls a lot. It really helps. Some, I don't know if there's anyone it doesn't help. There may be, I don't know, but it does help me. If you know any other kind of way, you can do that, but I like to use a Demon brush. Whatever I can't get to form, I coil around my finger and that kind of catches what I don't want looking all frizzy and bushy, if y'all know what I mean. The style already starts to get frizzy as the days go on. This lasts me about a week before I want to wash my hair and maybe do it over again. But you don't want it starting out frizzy unless you want it really frizzy by the end of the week. I know 
know some of y'all probably looking at my hair in this shot like she got her at the top of her hair done but the sides all bushy and frizzy stuff just hold on all right we're going to get to it i'm gonna take care of it sit tight it's about to happen just watch what did i tell you look spraying my hair with water okay <laughs> i'm gonna do the edges with the same gel that I use in a toothbrush. We've been using this toothbrush in my house for years, y'all. It ain't going anywhere. I doubt it's going anywhere. And I'm going to take that same gel and brush my hair up on the sides. The same hair I was talking about was looking frizzy. Brush it up. And I'm going to take a scarf at the end and set it that way and let it sit on my hair until it dries for the most part. And I know it's really not going anywhere. My edges can be somewhat of a struggle for me sometimes, but it's gonna get done, okay? It's gonna come out all right, I promise y'all. For the back of my hair, I didn't show it in the video, but for the back of it, I sprayed some water on it, the same water bottle y'all seen in the video a couple times. And I take a soft bristle brush and I kind of rub it on my hair in the way that my curls form to encourage them to form. I don't gel the back up. I feel like it's kind of extreme. I don't want to go that far. So that's usually what I do. And it comes out looking okay. People have given me compliments on this hairstyle. I'm not just winging this, okay, y'all? Y'all gonna get some compliments. If y'all don't, I owe y'all. Just let me know. <laughs> Now, I just wanted to make it clear that I do the, the technique with the brush for the bag after I take the scarf off and the sides have already set. It would, would make no sense to do it beforehand because it would get smushed. If y'all use my video to recreate this style, post it on Instagram and tag me in the post. I will leave my Instagram at the end of the video for y'all. I want to see how it comes out. I don't even use Instagram anymore. I stopped using Instagram like five years ago, but just for y'all, I'm going to start using it again because I really want to see how my videos come out for y'all. Like, how do they work? Do y'all actually get success in the videos that I'm going to be making for y'all with these hairstyles? So that's pretty much it for that style. I want to thank y'all for coming to watch the video. And if you like it and you want to see more, please subscribe so you can see the videos to come. Okay, I'll see y'all later. Bye.